The Pacific Northwest Ballet has teamed up with the Seattle Opera for a very special concert tonight. So it's a benefit concert for Ukrainian artists. This morning we're lucky to have Petro Krissa here to tell us more about the event. He brought his instrument. We'll hear that in just a couple quick moments here. First, we want to talk about this event tonight. What a unique gathering of artists. What can people expect to see tonight? Well, uh, first of all, I feel very touched and uh, by, you know, the community here that everybody came together to mm -hmm. put this event together. You're Ukrainian American yes, Canadian and as well. I have, special. Currently, I have a family there um, that were subjected to all kinds of things, bombing, and you know, I have a family and friend that actually in front lines. Mm -hmm. So this is all very uh, personal. Very personal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so the, this concert, uh, it'll be a combination of. Uh, opera and uh, ballet works and some Ukrainian music um, uh, in kind of I would I expect kind of like a more of an informal setting. Hmm. We usually play in the pit. Uh, mm -hmm. This time, the, uh, what my understanding is, the pit will be raised and we'll, we'll be able a, to see you. I, <laughs> wow! Yes, <laughs> and uh, uh, and also there will be a, a, the set of uh, Marriage of Figaro in the background yeah. because we're in, they're operas in the middle of the production. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that, and also I'm really honored to play a little solo piece. Uh, um, so really look forward to That's it. That's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, and I want to ask you more about the situation in Ukraine, but I definitely want folks to know more about the concert first, which is this uh, sort of benefits for the refugees, right? Some mm -hmm. of the money tonight will go to these refugees. Yeah, it's going to an opera house in Poznan, Poland, and they, uh, and it's going to a fund for displaced artists, musicians, yeah. singers. Uh, which yeah, specifically going to artists uh, right. from Ukraine and, you know, artists here helping artists there, right? Exactly, yeah. because uh, it's not, I mean, yeah, there's, as we know, there's probably around six million people that's been displaced yeah. or out of the country. And some of them are artists and among other professions. Some of the artists actually stayed and uh, went to war. Uh, mm. uh, some of uh, a lot of people have returned to Ukraine. Really, uh, native, like yeah, mm -hmm. th hundreds of thousands of people have returned, ma man, mm -hmm. uh, to to in order to fight, to fight, to fight, yeah. to, to fight for to their country, support the uh, whatever way they can. Yeah. Um, so uh, it's really uh, remarkable to see that and. Um, yeah, and people here uh, are looking for looking for ways that they can also help. So they can attend this concert tonight at seven thirty. Uh, if you want more information, you can text the word "help" to two zero six four four eight four five four five. So we'll send you more information. But right now, you did bring your vi uh, violin, so we want to hear you play sure. uh, a little something as we uh, close out this uh, uh, few minutes yeah, so together. So I'll play a little bit of it. This actually a, a, a piece I'll be playing tonight. It's by a Ukrainian composer. He's a, a 20th century composer, Andriy Stoharenko. Uh, it's originally a, a piece for violin and piano. It's called a song. It's simple. It's called name. a song. song yeah. <laughs> and uh, my good friend, one of my best friend, actually uh, uh, from New York, he's, we went to S Manhattan School of Music together a couple of years ago. Uh, he orchestr orchestrated uh, the piece for the full orchestra and mm -hmm. wrote an uh, original cadenza as well, mm -hmm. just a solo. So I will play, obviously Please. there will be just a, uh, just solo yes. without the backing track. So no, we're lucky to have you. This is Thank Petro you. Krissa, Ukrainian American with Seattle Symphony playing tonight.
I'll be right back here on King 5 Mornings.